In BrightAuthor Connected, ticker zones are used to display text. There are several methods you can use to generate text in a ticker zone. First, you can create a text document that's stored on the player. We call this method static text because to update the text, you have to republish your presentation. You can also use RSS feeds or live data feeds in a ticker zone to update text on the fly. We call this live text because you can update text while a presentation is in progress. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to generate both static and live text, make and format a ticker zone, add text to the zone, and make live updates to the text while a presentation is running. First, we're gonna generate some static text. Open a plain text editor and write a few headlines for the ticker to display. If you create a line break in the doc, the ticker zone will treat it as a new headline. Save your document to an assets folder on your computer or upload the file to bsn.cloud. Then open the multi-zone presentation from the previous tutorial. Add a zone and change the type of the zone to ticker. Rename this zone ticker. In Zone Properties, you can set how your text will appear on the screen by changing various attributes, including font, color, opacity, and background image. You can also choose from animated, static, or scrolling text rendering styles. For this tutorial, choose Scrolling Text. To change the font, you will need to upload the desired font to bsn.cloud, or if you're using local content, select it from your computer. Either way, it's a good practice to make specific folders for presentation fonts. Now, double-click on the zone or single-click and navigate to the Content tab. In your library, point to the folder with the recently saved text file. If you don't see it in your assets, press Refresh and it will appear. Now drag the text document into the playlist. Another useful way to add text to a ticker is to display headlines from a media outlet. You can accomplish this by clicking on the Widgets tab and adding a live feed widget to your project. In a browser, search for a relevant RSS feed. Then copy the URL and paste it into the URL field of your live feed widget. Last, under Content Usage, set the update interval to 30 seconds while you're designing and testing the presentation. This way, updates to the text will take effect more frequently. When you're happy with the result, you can set the interval back to five minutes or longer to optimize network traffic coming from the players. Building on this method, you can generate and host your own RSS documents so you can update live text. First, let's generate an XML RSS document. You can copy the basic structure of an RSS document from w3schools.com and then paste it into a plain text document. The idea is to save your RSS feed to a web accessible location that your player is programmed to check periodically. In this example, we're using FTP to upload a file to a hosted website. The file path will generate a URL that we can use in our presentation. Add a new live feed widget to your project and paste the URL into the source URL field. Again, set the update interval to 30 seconds. The player will display new text whenever you update and overwrite your RSS document on the web. If your presentation is hosted on bsn.cloud, there's another way to add text to your ticker zones without interrupting a presentation. You can create what's called a live data feed. First, click on the caret next to the content tab and create a new component called a live data feed. Name and create the feed. Click Add Item several times to generate a few entries. Then enter a key and a value for each headline you want to display. The text you enter as the value will appear on the screen. Remember to save the feed when you're done. Go back to the ticker zone and add another live feed widget to your playlist. Finally, under State Properties, select Live Data Feed and click on the feed you just saved. The finished ticker contains static text, followed by media outlet headlines, then a manually generated RSS feed, followed by a live data feed. 
save and publish your presentation to see how your ticker appears on the screen. To test the live text in your presentation, try updating your text. Make a change to your RSS text, then overwrite the document on the web server. Also, in Bright Author Connected, change the value of the first item in your live data feed and save it. In a matter of seconds, your ticker should update with the new text. There you go. Now you know how to make tickers in Bright Author Connected. After you're done designing the presentation, you can set the live update interval to check for updates less frequently. Next up, you'll learn how to add a date and time to your presentation.